Hello, what is up guys? It's Evil Duo Sarm here, back with another Blade & Soul video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the first set of accessories you want to pick up following the first things to do after level 60 video that I put out about two weeks ago. So that video is going to take you to a very solid place as far as gear goes. You're going to be able to run the majority of the content, but if you're looking to take your character to the next level, you're going to want to be picking up these next three accessories. So real quick, before we take a look at these accessories, if you are new to the channel, new to Blade & Soul, or enjoying the content on the channel, please consider subscribing, as it does mean a lot to me. Without further ado, let's get into it, and let's start taking a look at the three different accessories we're going to need. So if you hit Control i on your keyboard, you're going to see all the different accessories or various things you can get that you can equip to your character and their upgrade paths. So the three accessories we're going to be looking at today are an upgrade to the belt, your new gloves item, and finally your bracelet. So in order of difficulty to acquire, the easiest to obtain is going to be the gloves, so this will be the first one that you're going to set your eyes on. The next easiest is going to be the belt, but the belt doesn't really provide you too many of a big bonus to your character's overall performance, so not really a high priority, but it's the next easiest to obtain, and the final and the hardest to obtain is going to be the bracelet. So we're going to start off by looking at the gloves, because they are the easiest to obtain. The reason the gloves are the easiest to obtain is because there's no seed item that you need to start with. So for both the belt and the bracelet, the upgrade requires you to start this Helion belt or Helion bracelet down here. And then you need to upgrade that item through into the actual legendary item, the real one that's actually better than the one that you currently have. So these items take a lot longer to progress and require a lot more materials. The gloves, on the other hand, instant upgrade. They got rid of this quick grip gloves. You can't even get them in the game as far as I know. But regardless, you can start right at the king gloves and don't need to spend all these different materials in farming to upgrade into them. So the King's Gloves are obtained from the final boss of Hollow's Heart, Jerupo, and they seem to have a decent drop rate after the Awakening patch. I've gotten it two times in my first 10 runs of Jerupo on my Assassin, so it seems like they buffed the drop rate a little bit, or I could have just gotten incredibly lucky. At either rate, these gloves are an immediate upgrade to those Starstone Gloves that you get for completing the Starstone Mines Dungeon. If you haven't completed the Starstone Mines Dungeon and gotten the Starstone Gloves, you can either farm that for the Starstone Gloves, since you need those to upgrade the King's Gloves, and they are also an immediate upgrade to the Solok Gloves that you got for completing the story. But Jerupo is the one that drops the King's Gloves, which are the Legendary Gloves, which is the first pair of Legendary Gloves you can get in the game, so you should be targeting to get those as soon as possible. Now after you complete the final boss of Hollow's Heart Jerupo 10 times, you will unlock the ability to purchase King's Gloves from the Merchant Jinsore. In Mushin's Tower or at Desari Palace, there's the two places that they spawn, also one spawns in Zaiwe. But anyway, you'll be able to purchase the King's Gloves from her for 200 Helion Cores. Helion cores are obtained from the dungeons that you see right there, Emmendrake Lair, Hollow's Heart, Starstone Mines. Additionally, they drop from Iron Tech Forge, as well as Drowning Deeps. So you can run any of those dungeons to get the Helion cores that you need. So if the King's Gloves have not dropped from you from the final boss of Hollow's Heart in any of your runs that you've done, you could consider buying the gloves right here. As far as the DPS increase goes for these gloves, they have the ability to trigger 650 additional damage whenever you're attacking. 650 additional damage, like all additional damages, can crit. So you can get a solid 1000 bonus damage if you're creating your 1200 or 1500 bonus damage on an attack, which will provide a little bit of a boost to your DPS, which is a bit more than the Starstone Gloves that I had already mentioned, considering they don't give you any bonuses. So anyway, the King's Gloves are a nice little upgrade to your character. The next thing we're going to look at is going to be the Skybreaker or Horizon Belts. So this one is still pretty easy to obtain, just a bit more complicated than the gloves. So the gloves, you get the item right off the bat. The belt, what you're going to do is you're going to get a belt chest, which you can actually see from the Coin Exchange Merchant once again right here, so we'll cover that while we're here. If you scroll down the list, you will see the Skyguard Horizon Belt Chest. Inside of this chest, you can open it with either a Bloodstone for the Skybreaker Belt, or with a silver scale for the Horizon Belt. So same idea as the other thing, you can just straight up buy it, and then you need that one additional item to pick which one of the legendary items you want. So this also changed with the patch, which is a pretty nice update to make it easier to get the belt. So just a bit more complicated to get than the King's Gloves. So in order to purchase the chest from the merchant, or if you're just trying to straight up farm the belt chest and not have to spend the healing cores on it, you're going to want to run the dungeon Drowning Deeps. You need to do 10 runs of this to unlock the belt to be purchased from the merchant that we were just looking at a second ago. Also, you will need to run as many runs as it takes for it to drop if you're trying to farm it. So two ways to pick up the belt. Drowning Deeps itself is just a little bit more difficult than Hollow's Heart, so still pretty accessible for a newer player. Additionally, since Drowning Deeps is one of the dungeons that drops Helion Cores, while you're farming for your belt, you will be farming Helion Cores, so you can work towards getting one of the other items in this video. The final accessory, and probably the most difficult of all the ones on the list here, is going to be either your Starbreaker or Divinity Bracelet. These are a very large upgrade to the either Dragon or Tiger Bracelet that you currently have for completing the story and finishing all the Know Thine Enemies and Dead Refuse to Die quests, and as such provide you with a very solid increase to your overall damage for your character. 
So to get these suckers, you're going to first need to get a Helion Bracelet. The Helion Bracelet, once again, can be purchased from the coin exchange merchant Junsore. If we scroll down the list on the Legendary tab, you will see the Helion Bracelet Chest. So Helion Bracelet Chest for 200 Helion Cores. Helion Cores, once again, farm from the dungeons we've already covered in this video. The Helion Bracelet Chest itself also drops from Sandstorm Temple. So this dungeon really isn't too bad. Wait for it to be on a daily rotation if you're trying to farm it, because I tried farming it when it wasn't on a daily rotation, and it took me forever to find parties for it. But anyway, the dungeon itself isn't too difficult. Really, the hardest part is the mini boss on your way to the final boss. The final boss is just a lot of jumping over rings, so not too bad at all. But this is the boss that drops the Helion Bracelet, so if you're trying to farm the Helion Bracelet and don't want to spend Helion Cores or farm for 200 runs of different things to get all of the Helion Cores that you need to purchase any one of these, then this is the dungeon you're going to have to farm to get the drop. So I have no interest in farming that dungeon over and over again for this drop, so I'm going to buy the Helion Bracelet Chest for 200 of these Helion Cores. So let's just go ahead and show you how that works. Just like that, it pops into your inventory. Really quite simple. The next thing you need to do is you need to open this for the class exclusive Helium Bracelet, so just go ahead and click on that. And after that, you're going to have a Helium Bracelet that is pretty much garbage compared to everything else you have because it gives you no additional stats to your character. So now you need to turn this Helium Bracelet into either the Star Breaker or Divinity Bracelet, depending on your class. So just by looking at the two bracelets, you can kind of tell which one applies to your current spec since this kind of branches off into either one of your two different elements that you can choose from. But if you are struggling to decide which one of these you actually want, look around on the internet. There's probably some posts on Reddit or somewhere else where someone's gone through and shown you every little thing about every single one of these for every single class. I don't know the answer for every single class, so I do apologize. But I do know for the Serpent Assassin, I want to be picking up the Starbreaker Bracelet because that is the one that impacts my Choke Bomb, Poison Breath, Dark Strike, Twin Fangs, and Heart Stab. So to get that, it's pretty simple. I need a boatload of materials, but I also need this Unrefined Starbreaker Bracelet. So where do you get that from? So on the map, we are at the Anjara Monastery, which is located at the very top of Solok, like the highest point up here in Solok. Anjara Monastery, you can zoom in, this is the Circle of Sundering. So, the Circle of Sundering drops the items that you need to get the bracelet. So let's look at the General Merchant right here first. The item that we want is the Unrefined Starbreaker Bracelet. The Unrefined Starbreaker Bracelet takes five of the Tranquility Emblems. Tranquility Emblems drop as Tranquility Emblem Fragments. The Emblem of Tranquility Fragments drop from Circle of Sundering, which is a solo dungeon area where you fight Master Hong, spoiler alert. The first boss, I have never gotten a drop off of one of him when I'm running on any of my runs, but the other boss is everything thereafter. I've gotten drops of Tranquility Emblem Fragments, so you do get them. You don't actually have to clear Master Hong, so if you are having difficulty fighting the final boss in there, you can just clear the lower bosses over and over and over again to get up all the pieces you need. You will need 50 fragments from these guys, 50 fragments from this area, to get all of the fragments that you need to be able to purchase the bracelet. So let's go ahead and show you the purchase of the Unrefined Starbreaker bracelet so we can show you how this works. So just straight up buy them. All right, cool, we got that. Now we need to upgrade into the actual bracelet item. So if we go to the Control I menu to look at the upgrade itself, to upgrade from the Helium Bracelet to the Starbreaker Bracelet, I need the Unrefined Starbreaker Bracelet that I just purchased, as well as two of the Premium Transformation Stones and all of those other materials you see there. So give me one second, let me pick all that up. Alright, so I have all of those materials in my inventory, so all you need to do is left-click on the Helium Bracelet and click Manage Equipment. It's going to show you the Evolve menu. Once again, this is where you get to make your final decision. Are you going Starbreaker or Divinity? Once again, I want to go with the Starbreaker Bracelet, so all those options are there, and all you do is click Evolve, and it's that simple. Just like that, you have your final legendary accessory for this video. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did like the video, make sure to leave a like. If it helps give you an idea on what you want to do next in Blade Soul, please leave a like. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you stay updated when new content and videos come out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next video. Peace.